that she had been asking for a four-minute shower as opposed to two minutes. Her request had been accepted on condition of sexual favours. He had also tied the rope around his neck and attempted to weigh down the rope. He then said, do I have to kill myself to go to Australia? The words are from trauma incident reports written by people working with refugees. The pictures and sculptures are by artists imagining or interpreting what's described. Guard stated, do not sit in front of me, I don't want to see you, and kick the chair. At a Sydney gallery, artistic license is applied to a world deliberately hidden from view. We want to make the invisible visible. This policy has been so successful because it's been out of sight, out of mind, and these, we hope that by bringing imagery to these stories, people won't be able to forget so easily. They will have to start to pay attention. The policy in question is Australia's towards refugees. Since 2013, the government has been deporting refugees who've tried to reach its shores by boat to two tiny Pacific islands. Nauru and Manus are really these dark black holes where it's very difficult to get information about conditions. It's very hard to independently know what has gone on. Hundreds of refugees have been held on Nauru for almost five years. Told they'll never leave, many suffer mental health issues. Others have been abused by guards, locals or each other. In 2016, a cache of documents detailing such incidents was leaked by a former worker. The curators here asked artists to choose one file each to illustrate. One of the caseworkers on a bus in the morning had noticed that one of the children had sewn a heart into his hand with a needle and thread. Uh, she asked him why he'd done that and he said, I don't know. Um, I just found that it was a very simple incident but very graphic, very confronting. Some pieces are literal, a picture of exactly what's described. Other works are much more abstract. There are 33 works on show at this Sydney gallery, but overall the so-called Nauru files describe more than 2,000 incidents. What's on display here then is just the start of a much more ambitious project. The curators have posted online the text of all the more than 2,000 reports. They're encouraging people to read them and submit their own work. The ultimate aim is for every incident to be illustrated, not necessarily by professionals like those who did these, but by a mass artistic movement. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.